Hello again. In this tutorial, we're going to look at light, or more specifically, lack of it. As we know, photography is all about light. The name basically defines it as drawing with light. So a lack of light has always been a problem for the photographer. Up until now, when there wasn't enough light available, a photographer could either decrease their shutter speed or open up their aperture or do both. Even then, they might still have had to use extremely long exposures with the camera on a tripod. Sometimes the only option was to use external lights to illuminate the subject to successfully capture an image. But in many cases, photography isn't just about being able to see a subject in great detail. It can also be about trying to capture a mood, a sense of light and shadow, or perhaps something so delicate and mysterious that adding an external light source would destroy it. It's for these special moments when the mood is right but the light levels are impossibly low that EOS cameras have an ISO range upwards of 1600 or 3200 and on some models extending up as high as an extraordinary 25,600. To have a little bit of fun with low light conditions, Canon recently sent professional photographer David Knight into a poorly lit haunted house to play with the ISO range on an EOS camera. Here are five examples of shots he took increasing the ISO level a bit more in each one. Starting with ISO 100, we get what we've come to expect from the Canon EOS. Zero noise, great sharpness, and a subtlety of tone that really holds the mood. And the detail is amazing. You feel as if you're in the room with the tricycle. But a tripod is necessary with a slow shutter speed of around quarter of a second. Here, the ISO has been increased to 400, to enable us to capture the beautiful texture in the wall. However, the camera still can't be handheld given that the shutter speed is now 15th of a second. Using an ISO of 1600, the camera was just hand-holdable, but a tripod would still be recommended due to the shutter speed of a 30th of a second. The slightly pastel tones of the image from this higher ISO work well, and still there is no loss of sharpness or fine detail even at the ISO 1600. Here, in an almost entirely dark room, incredibly, we can still achieve an image using ISO 3200. We are also at the stage where the camera can now be used without the assistance of a tripod, given the faster shutter speed of a 60th of a second. You will still achieve clear detail, but you may start to see the first signs of minimal noise at this ISO. At an ISO of 12,800, and a shutter speed of 1 25th of a second, you can comfortably handhold the camera and record an image like this one of shattered glass. Amazingly, we can still see that we only have minimal noise levels, even at this ISO setting. Photos like this are impossible without a high ISO. Had the photographer tried to use ISO 100, he may not have achieved an image at all. So as you've just seen, having such an extreme ISO range can open up all sorts of creative possibilities. Aside from venturing into haunted houses, this extended ISO capability offers photographers the ability to take more handheld photography and is also brilliant for freezing action with fast shutter speeds in low light environments. So why don't you crank up the ISO setting on your EOS and go exploring? You may find some amazing images lurking in places that previously you would never have considered. And if you would like to share some of your low light or extreme ISO photography experiences with the EOS community, we would love to host it. So please upload your photos to the project tab.